Hey yo, what it do YouTube? Well, as you can see, what I'm about to show you right now is how you set up the glitch for the point guard build. I didn't add this originally in the video, but I figured it's best I show it to you because some of you might not know how to do it. So as you can see, you select point guard, you head over to the body settings, decrease your height to 1.76 meters, decrease your weight all the way down to 65 kilograms, and then increase your height back up to 1.77 meters, and you'll know you've done it right because you'll be able to decrease your wingspan all the way down to 1.75 meters. Now, next thing to do is you do want to max out all the attributes because, again, this is us setting up the glitch, so this is not the build you're making. This is more just setting it up. And once you finish maxing them out, you will head over to the next screen, which has to be takeovers, where you can select any random ones you want because, again, not your final build. And then from there, you want to just select edit build when you get to this screen. Now, this happens to be one of the, not one of the, this is the simplest build to glitch because it's a one-step process, i.e. once we've edited build, we back all the way out to the main menu and basically put our settings, change our settings, change our units of measurement from metric to imperial, aka feet and inches and pounds. And then from there, we edit the build and set it up to be the best glitched Trey Young build. Now, I'm gonna hop over to the PS5, which I've already done and show you how we set up this Trey Young build. Hey yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today happens to be the best glitched Trey Young build within all NBA to get 22 next gen. Now this build happens to be amazing offensively in the fact that it gets near maxed out offensive. Now actually, it basically is maxed out when it comes to the shooting capabilities, and when it comes to the finishing, it is one of the better finishers at the cup when in regards to layups, but not dunks. And then playmaking wise, you can break people down and make them look foolish. But before we get into the breakdown for this build, I do gotta say, as the new overlay says, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, tell me what you think of the build, don't forget to share the video, and also, if you're new to the channel again, and you ain't done so yet, hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notes on. Now, as most of you know, Trey Young is the starting point guard, right-handed jersey number 11 for the Atlanta Hawks. We will be going through this build kind of quick, just because I do know some of the times the videos are a bit too long. Height-wise, he does come in at about 6'1", with a weight of about 167 pounds, but I decided to put it all the way down as well as giving him the wingspan glitch where we get a shorter wingspan than our height. And then body shape wise, obviously if you wanted to really be Trey, you could go with slight or compact. Now, skill breakdown wise, I'm gonna go firstly through the physicals where I decided to go with a 92 when it came to the speed because again, it is a trade build, so I wanted it to be hella fast. 92 when it came to the XL, even though he's not one of the fastest up and down the court. And then a 95 when it came to the stamina. The things we do not mess with was strength and vertical, because as I said, this thing has the ability to lay it up as amazingly as possible at the rim, but it won't have the ability to dunk at home. So driving layup wise, as you can guess, we went with a 95 to get Hall of Fame acrobat, slithery finisher, pro touch, giant slayer, teardropper, unstrippable, mainly because for those of you who've watched Trey play, he really does enjoy dropping teardroppers, floaters, layups. You rarely ever see the man dunking. I at some points, you might even forget that Trae Young has the ability to dunk, but yeah. So in total, that gives us a grand total of 16 finishing badges with the majority of the ones we need being Hall of Fame. And then when it came defensively, Trey isn't a great defender. He isn't a good defender. He's subpar, so I decided to give him a 78 when it came to the perimeter defense because it allows us to get silver ankle braces, menace, clamps, pick dodger, tireless defender, and defensive leader as well as giving him a 72 when it came to the steal because that allows us to get silver pickpocket as well as interceptor plus we have the uh, we can afford the ability to get hall of fame hustler or hall of fame off ball pass and then i also got to go with a 54 on the block because getting intimidator is a necessity on all your 2k22 builds so that's what we went with and as you can see that allows us to ensure the grand total of 13 defensive badges now i'm gonna get into the shooting because it is quite impeccable what we've managed to do here First things first, we decided to go with a 95 when it came to the mid-range jump shot because in order to get Hall of Fame difficult shots, you do need a 95 on the midi. Even if you have a maxed out three ball, you can't get it without a 95 on your mid-range jump shot. And then when it came to the three ball, because of how great Trey is at shooting the ball, I decided to go with a 99 on the three ball, which allows us to get all Hall of Fame badges when it comes to shooting. Now, the only thing is we do not end up with the 40 total max badge point count on shooting, which is 40 because we don't put the plus four on mid-range but that's because if we put the plus four as you'll see it boosts us up a whole overall and we really don't need that right now so we decided to go with a 95 plus also it moves up our close shot which also takes away attribute points that we can use elsewhere when it comes to the free throw i decided to go with an 85 because some of you have been pointing out that you, not some of you i have seen a few comments where people are like that like more free throw on builds because yeah and i figured maybe some of you aren't 
fortunate enough to be able to knock down a lot of your free throws so just in case he has a high free throw rating to help with and then when it comes to the playmaking side of the ball you do got to go with an 88 when it comes to pass accuracy so you can get at least gold needle threader as well as floor general and then when it comes to the ball handle i do go with an 87 because i want to have the ability of getting gold unpluckable and then speed with ball i always do got to put that at the same as speed and excel so a 92 because it helps me max it out now in total that is 16 finishing 39 shooting 31 playmaking 13 defensive that's a grand total of 70 83 99 total bash points on this year build and if you've managed to finish all eight seasons nba to get 22 next gen as well as managed to rebirth this build that's a grand total of 111. now when it comes to takeovers as you'd guess first one i'd go with is more likely along the lines of ankle breaking shots because it is trey young and then the second one to go with would be limitless range just because Trey's game is emphasized off of his ability to spread the floor with his shooting and his ability to break defenders down. So when it comes to takeovers, you do got to go offensively heavy because, yeah, outside of that, like, I'd most likely go with something along the lines of finishing with layup with floaters and teardroppers or just generally playmaking for the team. Now, what 2K says we've happened to build here happens to be an uh, offensive threat the likes of Steve Nash, Fred Van Fleet, and Stephen Curry. Irony is, Trey Young is meant to be Steph Curry 2.0, so, hey yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video which if you did don't forget to do me a favor go ahead and hit that like button your favorite comment on how what you think of the build or how it could be improved or a general build you want to see me make don't forget to drop that down below in the comments and don't forget if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button also drop a comment telling me what you want to see on the channel because obviously 2k22 is literally on the way out the door so making content for it is a bit you know what i'm saying iffy so let me know if you want to see different content or you want to just generally see live streams instead but yeah it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.